Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Oh, today's video is going to be a beauty. Mwah! Can you taste that? That is the L's that Kick Vic are having. So, we have the Monica Real deposition. And just going through it, nearly everything that she says is just a bold-faced lie. It's gone back to the body language thing I was saying about with Ron and Vic. You know, Vic was just cool, calm. He was there. You know, he was very, yes, sir, no, sir. You were looking at the person. You know, he wasn't doing anything wrong. Monica Riel is just straight out the bat. She's just there like, uh, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. And obviously she still has a squeaky voice. But... Nearly everything she th says in this deposition, she thinks it's a joke. You know, things she's saying, you know, she's like, oh my god, everything is so funny. And I said, like, no, relax, just, she's smiling. Again, it's exactly how Ron was. You know, looking around, you know, shifting, shifting in the seat, shifting round and just looking. It's like, come on, what are people doing? It's, it's really funny to see and, you know, she goes, oh, I don't like my, my my middle name. My middle name's Jane. <laughs> it's like, no one speaks like that. It's not normal conversation to be like this, how she is. One of the best things as well for the Monica Real deposition is that Carrie Christie is the one who is uh, deposing her. And obviously we all know who Carrie is. You know, the, you know, the great girl who uh, Casey, Monica and Ron's lawyer... Who t he told her to behave herself and to shut up and to sit down. So, which just makes it just seem a whole lot. Right, okay, you're telling me, you know, we're in this court case about obviously these type of allegations. And you're telling me to be quiet and sit down. That's just like, you know, like, oh, right, okay. So, you're sticking up or you're defending people who have used this type of behaviour against someone. And you're like, no, that's wrong. And you're using it yourself. This is just... Everything about all of this, man. It's just... The way Monica looks is... You know, obviously, when you've got Ron, you know, Ron was all over the place. His eyes were up, his eyes were down. He was looking left or right. He didn't know who to look at. He was looking at his counsel. He was looking at probably Monica, as we found out that Monica was in the room when all this happened. But when she answers... Carrie, she looks down. She doesn't look directly in her eyes. It's almost like she can't because she knows that she'll get found out, which is absolutely brilliant. And in my eyes, I think that's actually a very good turnout for them. Because again, if this does go to a jury, they're going to watch these videos or whatever and be like, you know, first of all, Ron, look, oh, he, he looks guilty, doesn't he? You know, then this one's like, oh my god, why is she looking down? You know, why aren't she looking at her directly? And then when you have Vic, who is again. Vic, he just, you know, he just stood there. Well, he just, he just sat there. Arms were folded in front. He was looking directly in the eyes of uh, the guy who's talking like this. Like, you know, he had a, uh, the throat cancer and stuff. It's just, it's very interesting. Because, again, every single time she answers a question, she looks a different way. She doesn't actually look at Carrie directly in the eyes. With everything that is going on in this video, you can tell Monica is just very, very nervous as well. You know, not like what uh, Vic was. You know, Vic was straight to the point. You know, again, he was very, very, very respectable. Don't get me wrong. Monica's actually being a little bit respectable. But every time she speaks to Carrie Christie, she doesn't look at her. She looks, you know, she just looks at the floor, looks at her council, looks at the ceiling, looks at people, you know, Ron or whoever may be there. Everything that she's doing, it's just like, just look at Carrie and answer the question. Look her in the eye. And she's just trying to make jokes of everything. And it's a bit like, come on. It's like, the way you're talking, does not how this goes. These are not normal conversations. These are not... Uh... So, she... another thing is what I'd like to bring up here now. She actually has two people 
who posts to her Twitter account for her. Which I think now is another kick in the teeth because she, it's almost like she's throwing that the Amy Howard, who is her uh, assistant, throws her to the wolves. She posts an occasion. So it's great to see now that you know, straight away it's like, you know what, I can get away with this if I say someone else posts for me. Uh, right, so good thing with all of this really is our um, Monica has actually just said that this Amy Howard, she only uh, posts once a month. So we interested to see what type of the month that was and when. Because again, all the... Uh, Defame, you know, defamation tweets that she's done. She could say, "Well, I didn't post them. Wasn't me." So it's gonna be very interesting about all this. An interesting question that uh, Carrie Christie has brought up, obviously, just after she actually asked who else posts to the account for you, and she said that Amy Howard, who is her assistant, she said, "How many tweets do you do? You know, you know, how many tweets has there been this that, and the other?" and when you actually look at her uh, statistics, I will admit, over the last week or two, you know, in the last week, she is, she hasn't even posted 100. Well, it's not even that. You know, it's literally it's really low. In the last 30 days, she has done 348. So maybe, just maybe, they're actually, well, she's actually listening to people, and like Ron, who is just a bit like, I'm going to post whatever I want to because I'm Ron. I'm fabulous. And looking here for Monica, she has posted, yeah, you know, it's like plus five, plus three, plus one or whatever. But the biggest one is actually Monday the 8th of July, so last week. She posted 100 tweets in one day. But again, since then, every other day is literally like two three, four, nine, you know, the most, apart from the 100, is 21. So she hasn't really posted that much compared to what Ron does. Or the, uh, or that Greg Duche guy, you know, who posts 350 in one day. And I also believe he posted like 500 tweets in one day. That is astronomical numbers. It's just like, how the hell how you post that many in one day? It's crazy. Some of the things as well, just going by this video, is what she says as well. It's, she goes, uh, my uh, allergies are playing up today, I'm sorry y'all. It's like, come on, you're a white girl, come on. You are a white girl, you do not speak like that. One of the things as well that Carrie, or Carrie keeps asking Monica is, uh, with the Twitter feed and everything else is, did you know exactly what you were applying to? When Funimation put out their, well, their tweets saying that they got rid of Vic. And, again, she just seems to be, like, laughing and when this is going on, it's almost like, well, again, she she does seem to be very nervous. She's like, ah, yeah, this so does happen. Ah. No one talks like that or no one acts like that unless they, well, you know, there's the only two reasons why they are like that. One is either that you know they're guilty and they're afraid to be found out and they're trying to think quickly, or you know they are nervous. So it's just very interesting to see that Monica is acting like this. But you know this is how it goes. You know, Carrie she she is very good at her job by the looks of things. She seems to be asking questions straight off the bat that she's almost expecting these answers from Monica. She's like, yeah, right, okay, boom. Well, what about this? Or how about this? Well, since you've just said that, what about this? And Monica's a bit like, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I'm, I'm ditzy. <laughs> That's how she seems to be coming across in this deposition video, which is great, to be honest with you. You know, like I was saying, the way she's acting and the way it's going she again, just even with her looking down at the files and everything else, she's a little bit like, "Oh my God, what do I do?" And so far, we are about ten minutes into the deposition video, and see, I am going to end this video right by here. But one thing that Monica is doing, I think she has only looked at Carrie twice, maybe three times, while answering any question, 
So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see you lovely people soon.